looking back thousands of years ago, would put this example of Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit into the tabernacle to show that the same condition that they lived under as God's people was the same as we live under. No human stuff. No human works. No human righteousness. Only God's and God's alone through the power of the Holy Spirit. Okay? And this tabernacle was a pretty good size. This is the holy place. This is the holy, this is the holy of holies here. And if you remember what happens here, we'll put all the other stuff here. This is the Ark of the Covenant, right? This is the altar of the incense. This is the table of the showbread. This is the labor. This is the altar. This is the cross. This is where everything's sacrificed. This is where the priests wash their hands. Nobody's allowed in here but priests alone. And the showbread is the bread of life. And this is the light of the world. And the incense is the praise of God. The praise of God that a priest would do. Remember the high priest, he walked around with a little thing of incense? This is, this, is a, this is a perfect picture of this principle. And the reason this principle is important, not just because it shows up here, um, but it does point out that these seven churches, this is ultimately what God used as the principle for explaining the church. Okay? These seven churches have this in them. And look, this is biblical principles of Christianity. Okay? We need to stop because we have about nine minutes. But we'll come back to this and we'll go through the rest of these principles and some of the rest of these verses to show this exact picture. That this is who we are. And this is why the Lord uses it. And this is why it's important to understand that God does not accept our stuff. You can't be holy or godly because of something you do. You can only be holy because you choose to allow God's Word and the Holy Spirit to work through you as a person just like that wick. Okay? We'll come back to it. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you for who you are. Thank you for um, making things clear and putting them everywhere for us to see that you've supplied everything. We just have to choose you to work in our lives. That your yoke is easy and your burden is light when we do it with the power of the Holy Spirit, with your light in us and the truth of God. I ask that we think about this and we do this and we enact it and measure ourselves and our Christianity by it, by your example. I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, honey.